Hi everyone, welcome to another FME how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to use FME server automations. In this video, we're going to set up an automation to watch for new data to arrive and launch an FME workspace to process the data when it does. You'll see how to set up a simple automation in the FME server web interface that has a trigger and actions, which will give you the foundation to perform powerful automated workflows. After the video, we'll share a link to some FME knowledge base articles about automations, where you can see specific instructions and try this out for yourself. So to make an automation, we'll just go build automation here create a new one. So you're also going to see a nice workflow environment. Um, and it just starts with a trigger. So we can select a trigger event here. Um, in our case, we'll want to look at when a directory gets modified, we're going to launch this. You can also um, watch Dropbox to see if something changes there. You can uh, watch if an email is received, you could connect to cloud services, um, anything you need, really. Uh, some people also use uh, scheduling, so you can run this nightly. So we'll just watch if a directory gets modified um, and then we will connect to this data repository and we're going to say when a file is created or modified, we'll launch that. All right. So next action, we are going to run a workspace. And again, we can take any number of actions here, but we're going to just run this workspace. So here's one I uploaded earlier that just integrates a bunch of data sets. Uh, so we'll click apply. Okay, so after the workspace runs, um, this is either success or fail. So if it succeeds, I can say, send me an email. Um, we can do any number of things again, but we're gonna say, send an email. And then I would just load in my template uh, for Gmail and enter my info. I won't do that right now. Um, just gonna, that's what this exclamation mark is here. It's just asking me to fill in my credentials, but. I won't do that right now. Uh, and then if it fails again, we can also do something. So we can maybe send an email and attach a report, a validation report to tell us why it failed. So you can see how easy it is to create really powerful automations. Um, to start it, we would just click the start at the top right here. And then this runs in the background. It's gonna watch a directory. As soon as something changes or is added, it's gonna launch this workspace and all of our data will stay synchronized and up to date. 